keys to living a good Christian life in today's world. Hello, everybody. May the good Lord bless you in Jesus' name. If you are a Christian, Scripture is a big part of your life. Not only does it serve as a foundation for your beliefs, it is a resource that you utilize for references, reflection, and planning. There are several ideals associated with living a good life. People hear about struggles and setbacks and oftentimes lose sight of the blessings in their life. In many cases, the obstacles channel strength and perseverance that we don't know existed. Ideally, a Christian will turn to scripture and be reminded that our times are part of life and bring forth unimaginable blessings. Generally, our culture identifies best with instant gratification. However, that is not the reality in most cases. The keys to live a good life in the eyes of God can be found by doing the following. Relinquishing control. Christians like to think they, they have more control than they do. However, the truth is, the Lord is in charge. Once we come to terms with the concept of letting go and walking the journey he has written, then living out the adventure becomes easier and more enjoyable. Ephesians 2 verse 10 says that it best, For we are God's handwork, recreated in Christ Jesus, that we may do those good works which God have told us to do, that we should walk in them. Nonetheless, an individual is not truly following until they identify the control they never had. Be hopeful, Proverbs 10, 16 says, If you live right, the reward is a good life. If you are evil, all you have is sin. The, the daily grind can be victorious, especially if you are in the thick of every difficult season. Each day, it is important to reset, connect with the Lord, and identify the things going right. Living a good life requires Christians to identify the goodness and positivity. Being optimistic and embracing the good with the bad will create the hope you need to survive. Pray for others. So many people, they don't like to pray for others. They don't like it at all. They only pray for themselves. It's not good at all. No praying for others is considered, considered to be a sin. Samuel chapter 12 verse 23 states, as for me, I will never stop praying for you. If I stop praying for you, I will be sinning against the Lord. I will continue to teach you the right way to live a good life. It is important to always look for the best in people. Why this can be discouraging, maintaining this outlook is a way Christians can live a good life without sin. Additionally, prayer is the main method of communication to God. Wisdom is learned through obedience. That is very, very correct, I'm telling you. Doing good deeds for others and using the Lord's wisdom is instrumental to living a good life. Proverbs chapter 3, 16 to 17 says, This concept, wisdom gives a long good life, riches, honor, pleasure, peace, knowledge leads to wisdom. Therefore, Studying scripture and assimilating the Lord's words with experiences is a crucial way Christians learn and grow. Like Proverbs 19, it says, Grow a wise heart. You will do yourself a favor. Keep a clear head. You will find a good life. Another one here is get educated on integrity. Use scripture to create a fundamental structure for your life. As individuals who have endured good and bad times, we assume that we know the correct way to live our life. We set standards which are mainly applicable to our own judgment versus the Bible. And ultimately, what we are learning as Christians in church, living an integral life means abiding by the commandments and implementing those concepts and philosophies as our backbone. These are a number of scriptures that echo the concept of a life filled with integrity. Deuteronomy 25, 13, 
15 says, In all your transactions, you must use accurate scales and honest measurements so that you will have a long good life in the land the Lord your God is giving you. And don't forget Proverbs chapter 1 from verses 1. A false balance and unrighteous dealings are extremely offensive and shamefully sinful to the Lord. Put a just weight is his delight, but a just weight is his delight. Watch your words. <laughs> Do you remember the saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? <laughs> I don't like this saying because it is not true. It is not true. Words do hurt. The scars and bruises are not visible, but they are 100% there. 1 Peter 3.10 says, If you want a happy, good life, keep control of your tongue and guide your lips from telling lies. Words are inflection. They can be life-changing for the good and bad. Ultimately, that means think before you speak. Yes, as a Christian and a child of God, it is important to understand the weight of your words. Choose your words wisely and think about the way you would like to receive the statement you are going to make. Some Christians don't know how to use their words. They talk anyhow. You see somebody, maybe the, how the person dressed, you start accusing the person calling them names that is not how jesus christ has taught us we should be reasonable we should know the boundaries to dealing with people another one is sacrifice sacrifice always leads to a good life we are taught through scripture to sacrifice ideas and positions within our life our savior jesus christ sacrificed his son for the prosperity of others and wipe away sins. What is a good life according to the gospel? Our answer embodies these seven essential keys. One cannot work without the others. If a Christian breaks into one element, they must balance the others as well. No one will achieve a good life without understanding how to embrace a well-rounded mindset of all key points. As you make your list and check off the ideas, you must line through and or embrace. Remember your purpose and the God you serve. Understanding the full scope and maintaining an open mind will guarantee joy, prosperity, wisdom beyond your years and fulfillment, which is a good life. Thank you so much for your time and may the good Lord bless you as you follow up on these keys to life. And again, I have to thank all my subscribers, my viewers. I thank you so much. You are doing a lot for Wisdom TV Nigeria. And may the good Lord bless you and guide you. Whatever you play your hands on, you are blessed. I will continue to pray with you with my group. I will continue to present your case and tell God about you at all times. May the good Lord be with you, bless you. I pray that whatever you're doing, whatever you want to do, or you're thinking you want to do it, Almighty God will see you through. And you are blessed, you and your family and your children. May the good Lord guide and protect you all the days of your life. In Jesus' name, Amen.